I'm glad that I decided to do my eyes first today. Yes, <clears throat> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kiana and I thank you for joining me. So I decided that I wanted to do like a monochromatic series. So this video is the first one of that series. And as you can see, we started out with violet today. We're going a little bit out of order. So if you wanna see how I got this super fun, super purple <laughs> look, keep on watching. So today I want to do um, something more on the violet side. So I'm going to be using the Violets palette by Juvia's Place, which has all of these beautiful purple colors. I want to stick with something a little bit lighter. I don't want to go too dark today. So I'll probably be focusing um, with these two colors here. So I will say that this look is inspired by Savannah Silver here on YouTube. And I'll go ahead and link her video below so you can watch that after you watch this one. But to start out, I'm just going to go ahead and prime my eyes. Today I'm using Blank Canvas by P. Louise. And I'm using this because it's um, pretty fair and I want those colors to pop. So I'm putting it on the back of my hand just to warm it up a little bit. And then I'm gonna use a brush to apply it to my eyelid. So when you're applying anything creamy um, as your base, you want to make sure that you're applying it carefully and that you're also blending it out as well because the way that you apply it is how it's going to look underneath your eyeshadows. So you really just want to make sure that it is blended out to your liking and that you're not leaving it like super patchy or anything like that because it's going to show especially when you're using lighter colors like we're doing today all of that is going to show from underneath so now that that base is down i'm going to go in with this matte lavender shade and i'm just taking a fluffy blending brush and i'm going to stamp that into my crease and the reason why we're stamping it is because we want that color to show. So I'm gonna stamp it first to get it applied and then I'm going to blend it out. So I really just want to soften up that edge and in doing that, it is going to take away a little bit of the color payoff, but what I'll do is I'll go back over it and stamp some more of that purple color just a little bit lower, like right underneath where that edge is blended out. So those edges are super buffed out, so now I'm just going back in and deepening up that color. color is so pretty okay so I got that how I wanted it so now I'm just gonna go in with this shimmery purple here and I'm just gonna apply that all over my lid This is pretty how it is, but I wanna take it just a step further. Um, instead of using a black eyeliner today, I wanna take this glittery purple here with the small angled brush, and I'm gonna use that as a liner. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wet my brush just a little bit first so that I don't have um, a lot of fallout or anything like that. So I'm just gonna use my Makeup Revolution Primer Water. That brush wasn't as stiff as I needed it to be, so I'm gonna take this um, brush right here. This one is from Sephora. It's actually just a flat eyeshadow brush, but it's super stiff. So I'm gonna use this one instead, and hopefully that'll give me the result that I'm looking for. I like how that purple looks, um, especially up against that lighter, um, like lavender color behind it, but it's still not dark enough for me. So just like underneath that purple and closer to my lash line, I'm gonna go in with this deeper one here. And I wanna use the shimmer one versus the matte one. 
um, just because I feel like it. <laughs> but um, still with that same brush and making sure that it's wet, I'm just gonna go underneath that lighter color. So with this darker purple, I'm noticing that once it's wet, it's not as dark, which I think is a little backwards because usually when you wet products, they look darker, but I guess the liquid brings out the lighter shimmers that are in it. So it's barely changing the color, um, but it is deepening it up just a little bit. Um, but I'm just gonna leave it at this for now. For my brow bone highlight, I'm just gonna take Giza from the Masquerade palette. And I'm also putting that in my inner corner as well. So I'm just using a Q-tip just to get up the fallout before I start working on my face. And I'll finish my under eye area um, after I do my concealer and everything. So today I'm just using my NYX Bear With Me primer. I thought I was not gonna like this because it's radiant. And I don't like anything that adds a bunch of glow to my face because my skin is so oily, but I actually really like it. And I'm just gonna go back and add just a little bit extra underneath my eyes to help fill in that creasing. I'm also going to add, if I can get it open, and I'm gonna highlight a little bit from underneath my makeup today. So I'm just using this Double Up and Glow from Benefit, I'm using the lighter side. It's more of like a pinky champagne color and I'm just gonna put that where I would highlight. But I'm gonna be sure to blend that out as soon as I put it down though, because I notice sometimes with these cream highlighters, they dry down really fast and it's hard to blend them out once they're dried down. So I'm just gonna work on like one area at a time. I'm gonna use a good amount since I'm going in with a matte foundation over it. I want it to still show through. And I'm gonna switch it up a little bit today. I'm gonna to do my concealer before I put on my foundation. And just see if that helps any with all of the creasing that I get underneath my eyes. Since it'll be less product underneath since it's not um, the foundation layered underneath the concealer. And I'm using a new sponge today. I got this one from Juno & Co. Well, actually, I ordered off of Amazon, but it's from Juno & Co. And this is a microfiber sponge, which is supposed to help your makeup look more natural. Um, so I did damp it before I started my makeup today. Um, so it is a little bit damp, but I'm gonna use this for the first time today and see how I like it. I do also have, actually, Instead of the big one, I'm gonna start with the mini one. So I will say my first impression so far um, is that because this is microfiber, it doesn't feel as soft on my face as my other sponges do. It does feel like it's just a, a little bit more pressure. This is my first time using an itty bitty sponge like this and it just feels so weird in my hand just because I'm used to full size sponges. Like I understand the purpose of this to help you really get into like those small areas, but this is so new to me. All right, concealer is down. So now I'm just going in with my foundation and with this, I'm gonna use less than I normally use. I don't care to be super full coverage today, but I'm just going to go around that concealer and make sure that I'm blending the two together. Okay, so what I'm noticing about these sponges is that because they're microfiber and not um, latex or whatever else other sponges are made from, they have like the sponges have a little bit of texture to them 
and that texture does translate to your face, but not in a bad way. Like it's um, like a very skin-like texture. So when they say that this really gives you a natural finish, it does. It really makes your foundation like really look like your skin. So now that my foundation is blended out, I'm just gonna take the little bit that's left on this sponge. And I'm gonna go over that concealer just to tone down that yellowness a little bit. So because it doesn't have the foundation underneath it, the color is a little bit brighter than what I'm used to because typically you don't mix in with the foundation underneath. So I'm just gonna go over with my um, sponge. I'm not adding any more foundation. I'm just using what's on the sponge to kind of tone it down a little bit. So I'm trying to get out of the habit of having to open my mouth <laughs> when I do my makeup. So if y'all see me looking crazy, that's me like consciously trying to correct myself. So now I'm just gonna set my face. Um, under my eyes, I'm using my Fenty Banana Powder and then on the rest of my face, I'm gonna go in with Honey. And I'm still trying to embrace the radiant look, so I'm not gonna use a ton of powder to make myself super matte. I'm just gonna use just enough to set what's here in place. Okay, so now that my face is set, I'm just gonna go ahead and do my under eye and lashes real quick, and then I'll be right back. Yo, if you can put your lashes on with just your hands, you're a special type of savage, like classy, bougie, ratchet, savage. <laughs> Cause I cannot. So now the eyes are done. I'm just gonna go in and finish my face. I'm gonna start off by bronzing. I'm just using Caramel Cutie from Fenty. And then to add just a little bit of contour, I'm taking Blunt by MAC. So keep it up with this theme of like purple and violet. I wanna use like a purple tone blush. So I'm taking this Too Faced Fruit Cocktail Blush Duo and I'm gonna use this shade here as my blush today. This is the Plum and Granite Duo. And then for my highlight, I want to keep it kind of icy. So I'm going to take this white color here from the Makeup Revolution Fierce as Fire palette. This blush is just a little bit, just the teach too bold for me. So I'm gonna tone that down a little bit. I'm gonna go on with Sun Bask by MAC, just right on top of it, but very lightly. Okay, so now that the face is done, we're just gonna do the lips and wrap this all up. Um, I will throw it out there that some of these colors have been discontinued. I did look them up right before um, recording this. So I'm sorry about that, but this was just all I had on hand for the look that I'm going for. Um, so I'm just gonna line my lips with the purple liner. This one is from ColourPop, it's called Nevermind. Um, like I said, this one is one of the ones that's discontinued, but you can use any pur dark purple liner. So I'm now gonna take a lip brush and just blend out those edges so they're not super harsh. So now I'm just gonna go in with Heroin by MAC. This used to be my favorite. I remember the summer of 2014, this was my go-to lip color. Okay, so to lighten this lip up, I'm gonna go in with Viva Glam 
the collaboration they did with Nicki Minaj. This is Viva Glam 2. I just checked the website. They don't offer this one anymore, but it is a super pale purple. I'm just gonna use that to lighten up this lip color. So I'm gonna use that same white highlighter and I'm just gonna apply that to the, like the center of my bottom lip. And that just adds a little bit more dimension. So now I'm going in with the Viva Nikki 2 lip glass to make it glossy. <laughs> oh, I don't like this blush it's so much. Yes, baby hairs. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is the final look. First installment of this monochromatic series. I wanted to start out with the violet, and I love how it turned out. Other than this blush, I just feel like this blush a little bit too much. I kind of feel like a baby doll. <laughs> <laughs> like it's like Barbie blush it's a little bit much for me but I love how the eyes turned out I love the lips it just reminds me of summer of 2014 so like I said this was like my go-to lip combination back then but I jazzed it up just a little bit today but yeah guys I hope you guys like this violet look and shout out to Miss Savannah Silver who inspired it along with a lot of other people who I saw were doing um like this lavender type look or violet as I should say uh, seems like it's super popular right now so if you liked it and if you made it this far go ahead and give me a thumbs up and leave a purple heart in the comments so I know that you made it all the way to the end but yes guys I hope you all are being safe and I will see y'all in the next one bye